Welcome back to the channel. It's the 9th of March and we're out for another lockdown walk here in Sussex. Yep. Today we're back in the Ashdown Forest, which is very close to where we live. Get your kettle on. Shortly after we arrived, this van turned up and Peter turned out to be a subscriber to the channel. It was this shot that has forced me back onto a diet. It's amazing how quickly we forget to pack things when we haven't been away in the camper van for a while gone and got forgotten my uh, sun blinds which we need today it's lovely and peaceful here except for the odd passing car see here the uh, caravan and motorhome club are now doing independent tours Way in too. well this one here is uh, 21 days to the america's deep south including your flights from the UK to Atlanta, two nights in a hotel in Atlanta, and then an RV hire for 18 days with unlimited mileage. How much? From April to October next year, from £3,199 per person based on two sharing. Mm -hmm. That's a down payment on a new van makes me wonder how easy it would be to buy a van in America and just store it there for when we want to travel. It's time for lunch. Today it's going to be ham and cheese toasted sandwiches using bread that Carol baked this morning. Bit of butter on the outside and sometimes salt and pepper and a bit of sugar makes them taste delicious. This is Peter and his dog. Really nice to meet you, Peter, and I enjoyed our chat. Okay, lunch is done. Time to shut the roof and secure the van so we can go off for a walk. Ken's just had to go back to the car because the alarm was going off. Sorted it. You fixed it now? Yeah. Was it a fly? Well, I guess so. Yeah. But I've sorted it. Good. I think it was a summer's day, wouldn't you? It's lovely out of the wind. Yeah. Look, with the sun on you, it's lovely and warm. Like we've been away from van life so long that it'll take us quite a while to get back into it, don't you? Well, I don't know. In a way, just being out today, sitting in the van, feels like you're on holiday. Mm. Yeah, it's nice to be out. Yeah. Plenty of people out today, isn't there? Lots, yeah. Quite a lot of people turning up in their camper vans, sitting outside having cups of tea. Yeah. And you can blame them, to be honest. It's the 21st of March now, 
and we're back at the Jack and Jill windmills. It's a bit blowy. This car park is always busy and today we had to wait for someone else to come out before we could park. So today's walk is from the windmills where we were before in a previous video and we're going to the Chattery War Memorial. We'll tell you more about that when we get there. Pocket 2 face tracking not working well there. That's the way we went last time. But this time we're off down here past this farm heading south. New barn farm. Hello. Hello then. I don't know why, but I can't help talking to animals. Gets me some odd looks. It's not very far this walk. It's about half an hour. And it's mainly downhill going, which means it's going to be uphill coming back. We can do it. Yeah. Famous last words and all that. Hiya. So we've managed to walk half a mile and I've forgotten the batteries for the drone. They're currently on the back seat of the van charging. What do they say about checking your equipment? Fail. These lockdowns are really spoiling my game. I forgot to charge the batteries before we came out, which is why they're now charging on the back seat of the van. Anyway, this extra mile will do us good. Take two. So, second time lucky. Let's see how we get on now. A dog poo bag hung on the fence for all to see. Now, why would someone do that? Coronavirus has been a most unwelcome guest, but the one thing it has done is made me appreciate the area where I live. do you think we were last here? Oh, I can't even remember. It's a few years ago. It's when you were doing geocaching, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think what I was. was. Do you remember the name of the series? No, I can't remember. top of the hill is this beautiful copse of trees. I how many people have wild camped in here. Yeah, it's a great spot for it in a tent. Yeah. A lovely view of Brighton from up here. Yeah. So it's not by chance that we're here today. Martin H, one of our viewers, suggested 
that we could also do a walk to the Chattery Memorial from the same car park we used for the Duponds video. In the First World War, over 800,000 Indian soldiers fought for the Allied powers. King George V is said to have ordered that injured soldiers were to be treated for their injuries in Brighton Pavilion. In accordance with religious customs, 53 of those who did not survive were cremated in a funeral pyre at this very spot. After the cremation, their ashes were scattered in the English Channel. Muslim men who died were taken to the Shah Jahan Mosque in Woking, Surrey and buried in accordance with their traditions. Hey. Oh, Daisy May, let's go. Says it's 38 minutes back to the car park. All right. It's time I felt. Yeah. I don't really think I'm up for a race though. Okay. Oh, this horse just gone through the gate. Yeah. You see it? Yep, I see it. Midges are thick along here. All right, we're nearly back. I'm glad we're back. I'm knackered for you. Not too bad. Need uh, about a five mile walk by the time we get back. Yeah. Well, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper.